Hello and welcome to my ninth Maya video tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to teach you guys how to create some pretty decent looking water. So let's get started. I'm going to first create a plane, scale it up, in R for the scale to a W for manipulator or translation tool. Okay, so um, now that I have my plane all set up, I'm going to go up to Window, Render, and Editors, Hypershade. Now that I got my Hypershade open, I'm going to do some shader work in here. So I'm going to first uh, drag out a blend, and then I'm going to drag out a file node. Doing all this with the middle mouse button, um, a fractal too. Let's see, I'm probably gonna need under general utilities the um, let's see here, plus an average tool. Okay, and what what this is gonna do is, it, if I were to take well first this loads up in our file one node, I'm gonna load up an image here, into there. Let's actually adjust our fractal one. to about there and then I'm going to change the color grain to um to bluish type color really light really light blue about right there well maybe a little a little, little more about right about there all right so now that I got my um two thing node set up here, so I'm going to go file one, middle mouse drag it onto the plus minus node and input three D N zero and fractal, middle mouse drop it on there again and put three D N one. Okay. And now I'm going to select my blend one and I'm going to select this box over here all the way to the right of color and go environment bowl. And then I'm going to drag my plus minus average one um, node into the image option right there and now um, I want to create some displacement on my plane um, I could use a bump map but to make it a little more realistic um, I'm going to use a displacement map and it takes, it takes extra time to render it than a bump map but let's get this set up here um, let's see um, I'm just going to whip out a new fractal and I'm going to whip out a new fractal like that and I'm going to turn down my amplitude to about there, maybe a little more, right about there. And then I'm going to drop it onto the the blend one. Use the middle mouse and select with displacement map. And now I need to add some extra geometry, or I need to add some subdivisions to my plane so I can um, cancel. Um, so I can actually see the detail of the displacement map because the displacement map works with geometry. And let's go under polyplane one and subdivisions width and height. Let's select them both and go 45. Actually, let's go 55. Um, and drag your blend onto the 3D viewport onto your plane using the middle mouse button. And now, if I render a frame and my output window doesn't get in my way, um, you can see that it's looking pretty decent. Um, let's zoom in a little closer here. Alright, let's see this. Um, Alright, now it's, it's it's looking pretty decent. So, um, you know, you definitely uh, work with that. You can adjust all your um, nodes and stuff like that and make, a, make it look a little better. Um, maybe even add a bump uh, map to it. Um, a fractal and just kind of tweak with those settings and stuff. But um, that's pretty good. You can even key in your um, displacement if you want to animate it. Um, or not your displacement, but your um, fractal that controls the displacement. So let's let's add a little something to this. Let's add a cube and put the cube right about there. And I'm going to select all the edges on the cube and I'm going to go under edit mesh bevel. Let's change our offset, make it really kind of light. Segments, a lot of segments in there, about seven. All right. Well, not about. Let, let, let's change that. Let's go under our history here on um, poly bevel one. Let's change our offset to like. 0.05. All right, that looks pretty decent. All right, now let's whoop open our hypershade again, and I'm going to create a blend, and I'm going to change the color of this blend to an orange-like color, like that. Throw it on the cube, rotate the cube slightly, um, and then I'm going to go down to um, where is it here? Let's see. 
um, ray tracing options. I'm going to drop down that tab. Refractions, turn that on. Okay, now let's go into our render settings. This button right here. Okay, now let's go into Maya software. And let's go down to ray tracing quality and check the ray tracing box. Hit close. Render a frame. And let's see what we got here. It takes um, a minute to render though, but um, as you can see, you know, it's looking pretty decent. Um, you can throw in a light in your scene. Why don't we do that? Why don't we uh, go to render in point light? Um, select that little light about selecting the other nodes. Oof. Let's try to grab this. Alright, there. I got it. So let's bring it up here. Turn on 7 for um, lit mode. And let's kind of adjust this a little. Let's see how that would work. look if I rendered it. And, you know, that doesn't look that bad. Um, you could definitely, um, you know, adjust some of the options, make it look a little better under, um, under your blend and stuff like that. But, um, it looks pretty decent right now. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. And please go to my, um, YouTube page here. And please, um, subscribe. Um, donate if you want to. Um, post some comments down in the comment box. I haven't got uh, any comments in quite a while. So that's going to conclude this tutorial. And thanks for watching.